Arclight is a mutant supervillainess appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Publication History Arclight first appeared in Uncanny X-Men No. 210-211, and was created by Chris Claremont and John Romita Jr. The character subsequently appears in X-Factor No. 10, Thor No. 373, Power Pack No. 27, Uncanny X-Men No. 213, 215, 219, 221 to 223, 240, Captain America No. 387-392, X-Man No. 13, 18-19, Cable Annual 1999, X-Men, The 198 Files, X-Men No. 183, X-Men, The 198 No. 2-5, Civil War, X-Men No. 3, X-Men No. 200-203, and New X-Men No. 46. Walt Simonson said that, when John Bogdanov drew Arclight in Power Pack, she had a much different figure than I gave her in X Factor. But I went back and did a little bit of revision work in my book after I'd seen what John had done. Arclight received an entry in the official handbook of the Marvel Universe Update 89 No. 1. Fictional Character Biography Arclight served with the American ground forces during the Vietnam War and she is still haunted by memories of that place. She has redirected her rage into bodybuilding, which she uses to augment her mutant powers. Her mutant ability enables her to create shock waves through physical contact, usually combined with her super strength in form of punches and blows. During a few of her appearances she has been shown to project a bright light upon impact of her hands. As a war veteran, she is well versed in battle and is known as one of the most bloodthirsty members of the Marauders, the group responsible for the mutant massacre. Her relationship with teammate Skullfunter has also made her second in command. During their first mission, Arclight kills dozens of underground dwelling mutants known as Morlocks. She also took some time off to answer Superior's invitation to join her female group of villains, the Femazons. Though the details of her recruitment by Mr. Sinister to the Marauders remain unrevealed, she has participated in all of the group's major operations. Due to Sinister cloning the Marauders multiple times, it is hard to determine if the original Arclight has been present in all of them. Following M-Day, Arclight became one of the so-called 198, one of the few remaining mutants retaining their powers, and a refugee at the X-Mansion. She later returns as a member of the new Marauders alongside old members like Skullfunter and new ones like Sunfire and Lady Mastermind. During Messiah Complex in the final battle on Muir Isle, she is injured by Wolfsbane who bites her in the neck. She is seen later being defeated by Rockslide. Powers and Abilities Arclight possesses the ability to generate seismic energies with her hands that cause shock waves and geotremors. She also has superhuman strength, stamina, Durability and Resiliency. Other versions. Equals Age of Apocalypse equals, in the Age of Apocalypse, a male character named Arclight is a member of the Brotherhood. It is unknown if he has any relation to the Earth-616 character named Arclight, or what powers he possesses. Equals House of M equals, in the House of M reality, Arclight is a member of the Red Guard that was positioned in Australia to work with Exodus. In other media equals television equals, Arclight appeared in the two-part Ten Men episode Sanctuary. She is among the mutants that join Magneto's mutant haven. In the episode Secrets Not Long Buried, she is one of the many residents of the mutant-dominated community of Skull Mesa. Arclight first appears in the Wolverine and the X-Men episode Excessive Force. This Arclight is male and he is supposedly the field leader of the Marauders taking direct orders from Mr. Sinister. He utilizes the same shock wave powers as his mainstream and movie counterparts. When Vertigo arrives to warn him about Cyclops coming, he is attacked while Vertigo flees. Mr. Sinister gets contacted by him and is given orders to give Cyclops information that would lead him into a trap. Equals film equals, Arclight appeared in the 2006 motion picture X-Men. The Last Stand played by Dominican fashion model and actress Amahara Mota. Arclight had no lines in the film. In the movie, 
her shock wave based superpowers are more refined than in the comic book, her shock waves project in an outward fashion and she can target specific materials. She is a member of the Amigas. During the raid on Alcatraz, Arclight used her shock waves to disable the kill weapons and later joined Quill and Sulok into targeting Warren Worthington too. She, Quill, and Sulok are later killed by Jean Grey's disintegration wave when her Dark Phoenix side activates. Equals video games equals, Arclight appears in Deadpool, voiced by Charney Creek. References External links, Arclight at the Marvel Universe Wiki